Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on multiplication tables. The above diagram represents the multiplication grid up to and including the 12 times tables. Students in Grade 3 should attempt to learn these tables by the end of the year. That means being able to automatically recite each table in order and at random. When you think of it, the job is made easier by virtue of the fact that 3 times 2 equals 2 times 3. This is the case for all tables. We can change the order of the two digits and the answer is the same. Multiplication and division. While the table to the left highlights multiplication, it has a very special connection with division. Let us explore this further on the next slide. Linking multiplication and division. Consider 2 times 3 equals 6. It automatically follows that 3 times 2 equals 6. 6 divided by 3 equals 2 and 6 divided by 2 equals 3. We can see from the above number sentences that multiplication and division are inverse operations. This is an extremely useful fact because once we know our multiplication tables well, the important link between multiplication and division means that simple division sums can also be mastered and recited easily. For example, 3 times 4 equals 12 means that 12 divided by 4 equals 3 and 12 divided by 3 equals 4. So that shows the close link between multiplication and division. Children should be given opportunities to link times tables with real life situations. In that way, they can see the relevance of times tables. Hence, they are more likely to learn them. Example 1. There are four bags on the table and each bag contains six marbles. How many marbles are there altogether? So there are the bags. Six marbles in each. The solution. Six plus six plus six plus six is four times six, which is 24 marbles. Example 2. 30 pencils are shared equally between five students. How many pencils does each student receive? The solution. 30 pencils divided by five students gives us six pencils. We note that five times six equals 30 and 6 times 5 equals 30. So all these are linked. So each person receives 6 pencils. Four students each have 5 marbles and seven students each have 3 marbles. What is the total number of marbles? So the solution, 4 times 5, so that's 4 times 5 plus 7 times 3. So that's 20 plus 21, and that's 41 marbles in total.